Hey, the new cookbook is in bookstores or tbssuperstation.com. Now back to dinner and a movie. That is so nice that Mark Twain is uh, going to help him with his will. I don't think that's Mark Twain. No? That's no. Hal Holbrook. Oh. Who played Mark Twain. Oh, okay. I have a question. What? Okay. Why does every guy want to stay single? What is that fear of commitment? Lisa, that's very simple. Do you want to tell her or should I tell her? Go ahead. It's very, there's Somebody benchmarks tell. in one's life. Yeah. You're born, mm -hmm. let's say you go to school, you get married, and then you die. Mm -hmm. If you don't get married, you don't die quite as quickly. That's, <laughs> a, that's that a lot of people. That's not true. Married men live much longer than single men. And they're miserable. Whatever. Wishing they were dead. That's just sad. You know what I think it is? What? I think you, you think that if you don't get married, you're going to have all these women. Not going to happen. So you might as well just get it over with. That's all, all right. I'm saying. All right. Interesting. Okay. All right. Tonight, we're watching The Bachelor. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're making cold feet. Paul, get the feet. Of oh. course we're making cold feet. You know, there were no yeah, other options. He's afraid options. to commit cold feet. Yeah. Here we go. There you oh have it. Oh my God. There you God. have it. And as good as these look now, <coughs> we're going to make them even better. I know, Elisa, when you go to the store and you get pig's feet like this, this, yeah. you, this is as good as you think they can get. Right. They can get better. Come on. That's impossible. And as delicious as that is, uh, you know, I just wish that there was something in the kitchen that I could eat until that's ready. But I don't see anything. I look around. Did you know this pig was named Skippy? Really? Well, I know it's not skipping anymore. Okay, while you're thinking about that, yeah. starting the pig's feet. All righty. Uh, Lisa, pop those into the pot. Okay, can okay. I do it this way? Cover them with water, about a tablespoon of salt. Did you put the onion in? Uh, I put the onions and the carrots in. Bring it to leaf. a boil and then turn it down to a simmer. You know what I always forget? That people don't eat pig's feet? No, I always <laughs> forget which little piggy went to market. Oh was it this my one? God. <laughs> Making cold feet. Yes, That's we are. Strain, this is the broth we cook the feet in. Uh -huh. Straining that broth down to there's just about three cups remaining. Then add some carrots. Okay. Gonna add some hot uh, dried chili peppers to it. Mm -hmm. Some Mexican oregano. How's that different than regular oregano? Uh, it's a little more pungent than Mediterranean oregano. All right. And uh, and this is gonna have a sort of like a south of the border uh, accent to it. And is some, it really? Yes. Yeah. And some cumin. It's gonna be this Mexican style pig feet. All right. Some cumin. Uh, a little garlic some bay leaf, and we're gonna let all those flavors come together in that hot liquid. Did you know this was based on a Buster Keaton movie? The Pig's Feet or the movie we're watching? <laughs> the movie we're watching! Oh, all right. Called Seven Chances. Really? Huh. Yeah. That's wow. the genius of Chris O'Connell. He takes a- O'Donnell! You've been doing a movie show for nine years. How Chris do you not know his name is O'Donnell? I'm a huge fan of his work. Does that help? We're eating our cold feet now. And you did. You were a non-believer, weren't you? I still am. I haven't tasted it yet. When you hear Look we're eating these. pig's feet, you know you don't exactly jump for joy. Look, it's not bad. And that's what Claude aims for: is for it's you to say bad. it's not bad. Look, for how disgusted I've been this whole time, mm -hmm. that's not bad. It's delicious. Now, uh, Claude, mm -hmm. you've been married quite a while. I have. What made you? When did you know you wanted to get married? You really want to hear? Yeah. In a nutshell. Briefly. In a nutshell. I was uh, I was working at a restaurant in San Francisco early in the morning, going to work. Mm -hmm. Some guys beat me up. Right. And they just, they beat the heck out of me. They mugged me, yeah. took my shoes. Uh -huh. And then after they had already taken my money, he turned back around and he put a gun in my face. And for that split second, I didn't get scared. Just I, the thought that went through my mind was, I wish I had married Perla, who is my Aww. wife now. Wow. So it takes a violent mugging to get a guy to want to marry you. And then you recognize that those two guys were her brothers. <laughs> 